What are the essential skills for success? One is thinking out of the box. I was never, if you ask me where that came from, I don't know. But I was never very conventional in my thinking. I don't know if you could call it a skill, but I was taught logical thinking very, very early in life. You know, what, is, what are the flow of things? What, how do you take a decision? Looking at the pros and cons, of a decision and then doing an action or making up your mind to do an action. I think that uh, one of the key skills which have really helped uh, me build, make my trip and uh, take it from you know a certain point to where it is today and achieve some degree of success, though we still believe there's a long, long way to go. I think the most important one has probably been uh, being fundamentally analytical. So I love doing that. I love looking at data even today. And I think uh, core analytical skills and they were probably seeded in way early, maybe in school, maybe in, and then honed in college, etc, etc. have really helped. Learning how to simplify things. A lot of businesses or business problems are made far too complex. And therefore, we miss the essential points that are vital to every solution or every business success. Just not being able to look at an audience and involve them and, you know, different people have different ways of understanding things. Just not using all of that. I do it by instinct. understanding both the emotional aspect of leadership as well as the business aspect or the harder aspect or the tactical aspect of leadership I think are very important. The second one is a more fuzzy one I think that's more on the right side of the brain and I think that's probably to do with fire in the belly and perseverance. And then one big thing was I had no fear of failure. Fear of failure stops you from trying stuff. It stops you from learning. It stops you from going to a new place. Um, it stops you from taking a chance. Today's education system, what needs to change? You know, hard. It won't become relevant. Curriculums are out of date. To let the professors become more realistic and practical. Most of the professors teaching our kids have never seen the inside of a business. Yeah. And therefore, what are they going to teach? How, how do you teach strategy if you've never worked that closely with a business when you're implementing strategy, right? It's, it's a theoretical notion. Yeah. Three, you know, the other thing I would do is certainly, and it's not just about business. Uh, it's, it's really about um, what you teach and how you teach. Teach them how to think. Change the game. You know, you have to teach them how to think. You've got to do it much earlier. You've got to do it in schools. You've got to do it in colleges. The standard education system in India and some of the newer boards and some of the, I mean, how the US teaches, how the UK teaches, is they teach problem solving. They teach critical thinking. They teach the ability to communicate. They teach basic ethics. You know, things like that, which actually create a much more well-rounded individual. And if I look around us, the people that succeed, are the people who have the base grounding maybe in academics, but then have all these peripheral capabilities, which are what really set them apart. The people who've actually topped in some of our boards and don't have some of the critical reasoning and problem solving, don't end up succeeding in large leadership positions. Uh, and we're in a very international world and that's what you, you, you need right now uh, to succeed. The education system in India would focus much more on just communication. I, I think that's where a lot of Indians lose out. I think we're the smartest people fundamentally. There's no problem. They can go out and compete anyone smarts, but communication does become an issue. And it's just not about communicating when you're overseas. Even here, I don't think people communicate well. I don't think uh, people write well at all. 
business communication really really is uh, very average here in fact it, it i i think it just sucks so it needs to improve i find even senior people writing really badly yeah. and and writing long doesn't mean writing well so we are actually investing a lot in just getting people to communicate effectively but you still have to be very clear if you're clear in your thoughts and you got early inputs and therefore i think the formative years and the kind of stuff you're trying to do is so critical because in those formative years if you can comprehend and then you can put across uh it it'll make a big difference it's the ability and it's also the kind of you know you teach a skill it's the curiosity to ask it's like why and people want to go beyond just the obvious it's not a given so i you know you want people to ask but why and really what they're asking is there a better way 